Welcome to the latest UWBadgers.com video exclusive. I'm Patrick Herb here in Camp Randall Stadium for Wednesday's practice as the Badgers are preparing for Purdue. The Badgers will travel to West Lafayette to take on the Boilermakers in ross Aid Stadium for the first time since 2006. Purdue enters the game with a 4-4 four four record but is 3-1 at home and has had success in their home field. We caught up with Ethan Hemer after practice, a defensive tackle who made his first career start at Iowa and was re rewarded by being named Wisconsin's Defensive Player of the Week for his performance. I feel like uh, you know I was I was very happy to contribute. Uh, I was very happy to uh, you know be a part of the win. Um, you know, play play was never perfect, but uh, I was happy with how I played. Purdue runs the spread option attack. How, how do you guys, as you know, a defensive line counter that? You know, uh, it's. Playing against uh, that kind of offense, is, you have to be very patient. You have to, you, know, you can't uh, just go running after the running back. You know, it's it's a lot of open field play, so uh, you really need to be uh, aware of your assignment and you know play, do your do your assignment. Don't try and do anybody else's job. We also ran down senior linebacker Blake Sorensen after practice to talk to him about the health of Wisconsin's linebacking crew and also about the challenges of playing a Purdue team that'll be hungry and has had success at home. I think it's probably healthiest we've been, you know, all year. You know, last week, obviously, the bye week, uh, guys had a chance to get healthy. So I'm excited. You know, guys are healthy and ready to go for Purdue this week. At the end of practice yesterday, Coach Bielema talked about how Purdue's three and one at home, coming off two tough road losses, and so they're going to be extra hungry. What challenges does that present when the team's, you know, feeling that way? Yeah, you know, they're going to be ready for us. You know, they knocked off Ohio State last year at home, so uh, you know, we're definitely not taking it for granted. They're giving us a great game, and we'll be ready. Thanks for watching UWBadgers.com. Check back on Thursday when we talk to head coach Brett Bielema.